drum roll, please. The best achievement I have achieved in my life is when I won first place in, the, in my piano competition. I also won $335. My mom said if I believed that I could that I could win, then then I would win. And guess what? I believed and I won. Stop. If I would imagine myself ten years from now, I would look really weird and ugly. Plus, I would grow a giant beard all the way to the floor, and it would stretch across the Great Wall of China. Stop. My favorite subject in school is the quiet reading time because um, I like books to read, especially about Greek gods and goddesses. Um, and having a quiet reading time is just like having another chance to read a book. Do you know where the storm comes from? Okay. I'm the weather. I'm the uh, The person in the penguin shirt. Okay, my question for the video, my question is, uh, 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 what do you plan to do if the storm gets larger? Mayor Elwood. Um, I'm very sorry for the um, families who lost their um, family. Um, I think what they would do is they would make sure um, the plane was safer to go on. Exactly. Yeah, so you want to make sure the plan is still very safe to go on, okay? So, uh, Angie, let's say something similar to that. You can do, say whatever you want, but the, the message is that the plans are very safe to go on, yeah. So now we made the planes um, safer to go on, so the families won't lose their family members the next time they come up. Okay. Very good. Hi, and welcome to the MY Interview um, TV show. I'm going to be your host, and today we found out that a rock star just hit someone innocent, and I don't know why, but please welcome the rock star and, and the person he hit. Well, we still have to introduce him. Whoa! Why did you hit that innocent person? Well, I can't really explain. I think I drank too much alcohol that night. <laughs> so, you know, sir, you were kind of acting like a drunk monkey trying to hit a banana open. <laughs> why I hit you. <laughs> hey, anyway, so did anything like change the color of the whole planet change to you? Were you seeing red? Yeah. Ugh. That's kind of like the book about, like, that's kind of like the book that's called Seeing Red by Robert Munch. I wonder if that guy actually saw red. Well, anyway, so was... 
So today, folks, thank you for watching MY Interviewing Talk Show. <laughs>